Welcome to Chorus Stories. Are you ready to meditate with Cory? Hi, my little friends. Do you love the Heidi, Cherry, and Veo stories that I make here on YouTube? If you want exclusive stories that you can't get here and you want to join the Cat Club, Follow the link down below that says Cat Club, Patron, and you'll find out all the details about how to join the club. Enjoy the meditation, guys. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to lay in your bed and relax and let go of your long, busy day? Try and snuggle down under the covers. Stop moving around. Close your eyes if you want to. Heidi, Cherry and Veya were playing outside. They'd been playing at hide and seek for the longest time. Even though Veo was a white fluff ball, she was actually really good at hide and seek. She was winning so far. The cats were playing hide and seek with all of the other cats from the neighborhood. There was about 10 or 12 of them. After four games, they started to run out of ideas of where to hide. Cherry ran around the side of the house and noticed the garbage bins. Ew! Ugh! Ugh! No way! OMG, who would hide in a garbage bin? That is so gross and disgusting. No way, Jose, no way. She carried on running to find another place to hide. Veya ran round the side of the house shortly afterwards and saw the garbage bins. Hmm, I don't think that would be a good idea, especially the garbage garbage one. The recycle bin might be not so bad, but then I know there's still some gross things in there. And the garbage bin would just be, oh my goodness, horrific. So no, I don't think so. And Veya carried on running. Heidi had got no clue where to hide. She'd hid under the car. She'd hid behind one of the big trees. That one, she got caught straight away. She did all over the place that she could think of, but she happened to be running down the side of the house and saw the garbage bins. Hmm, what do I think? Should I? Shouldn't I? It's probably a really good place to hide because, let's face it, no one wants to hide in a garbage bin. But then, oh, is it worth it because... The idea of hiding in the garbage bin sounds pretty darn gross. But then if I hide in the recycle bin, that might not be so bad. Heidi decided to go with that idea, and she jumped inside of the recycle bin. They'd been playing the game for quite some time. Heidi had still not been found. Nowhere. No one could find her anywhere. It felt like 30 minutes had gone by. 45 minutes had gone by. Inside of the bin for Heidi, life was great. She'd found a cardboard box that she fit in perfectly. And she'd fell asleep. Until the bin started moving. It woke her up instantly and she thought, oh, I must be caught. But then she was just moved around inside of the bin and it sounded as if the bin was being dragged down the driveway or something. And then the movement stopped. She thought, oh, maybe mom or dad had just moved her, but still she'd not been found. So she should stay there. While she was inside of the bin, she was thinking about all these interesting things. I wonder, out of all of this stuff, what actually gets recycled? 
I mean, where does a can go? And what about that plastic bottle? What did they do with that plastic bottle? Do they have to wash out the plastic bottle? Should we wash out the plastic bottle before we put it in the recycle bin? Why is there a ball of cat hair in this bin? I don't think cat hair is recyclable. I bet that was Dad. Dad throws absolutely anything in the recycle bin. Things that aren't supposed to be recycled. And then that made her laugh because she was thinking about how Mum always shouts at him for throwing really silly things in the recycle bin. But then Heidi got comfortable again and went back to sleep. Sometimes she was stirred a little bit when she heard the cats talking or shouting to each other or someone would go past the bin and laugh really loud. But no one found her. Heidi heard the sound of the garbage truck. It beeps when it reverses. Beep! 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 She heard that really loud. Hmm. At first she really couldn't think or put the two things together, even though she knew that that was the garbage truck. But at the same time she was like, oh, I'm so comfortable and so, so cozy. It wasn't smelly in the recycle bin. It was great. And she closed her eyes and went back to sleep. Cherry was talking to Vea. I have absolutely no clue where Heidi is. I know she were good at this game, but I didn't realise she were that good. It's been over an hour and we can't find her anywhere. Everybody's bored. All of the cats have gone off down to the ice cream parlour because they were like, yeah, we're done. We're going. We'll see you later. And I was like, I can't go to an ice cream parlour if I've left my sister hiding somewhere. If she's gone in the house and she's like having a lunch or something, I'll, I'll, I'll. I'll, I'll be very angry, but I don't know. I have this feeling she's hiding somewhere really good and I want to know what that hiding place is because, you know, I love her and everything, but I don't want her to win this game. I want, well, I'm not going to win, am I? Because I'm already caught. But I mean, you know, Vaya said, mm, yes, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned because it has been a very long time. Maybe we should tell Mum and Dad. Maybe. Heidi woke up to being bounced and rocked and shook all over the place and then actually turned upside down. She found herself falling from the air. She doesn't know from how high. At first she thought it was a dream. Like one of those dreams where you fall from the sky and then you wake up just as you land. She woke up as she was falling, and she found herself landing in a big pile of cardboard, tins, all sorts of things. She whined a little bit when she landed. Something spiky hit her in the back, and when she turned round, it was a coat hanger. Can you recycle coat hangers? She thought. And then that made her come to her senses. Frantically, she realised what had happened. She was in the back of the garbage truck. The back of the garbage truck! I'm in the back of a garbage truck! She thought to herself. She started quickly scurrying and running as fast as she could over the boxes. But then all of a sudden it went dark. Like the garbage truck had closed. And the engine revved up. And it started moving forward. She could feel it moving as if she was driving in a car. She panicked. Help! She was shouting. Help! But of course, no one could hear her because garbage trucks are so loud. And there were a couple of kids on the street and the garbage truck was honking his honker because the kids were making that sign where they're like, pull your horn, pull your horn, garbage guy, pull your horn. And he was smiling at them and pulling his horn. So all she could hear was horn and crunching and just this feeling of rolling all over the place. And then she started to feel as if she was in quicksand, falling deeper 
and lower through all the boxes as if she was falling towards the bottom of the garbage truck. She was hysterical. Her claws were gripping and scratching at all the boxes, climbing her way out as if she was climbing out of a big sand hole. Screaming, help, help. At one point, the lights came back on and she saw where she needed to escape to. She went scurrying really, 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 really fast up and through the hole at the top of the garbage truck and scurried so fast down the side of the garbage truck and landed on the pavement. She looked around frantically and realized she was three houses down from where she lived. Oh! She brushed one of her paws over her forehead. I'm still on the same street. I'm still home. I'm not in a big, big, massive garbage, garbage mountain somewhere in, in Hawaii. Like, and I don't even live in Hawaii. And oh my goodness. And she just landed on her back with her paws up in the air in like a shock position, breathing very heavily, her tongue sticking out to the side as if she'd just died and come back to life. Cherry said, OMG, what's that? She was stood on the street, still complaining that they couldn't find Heidi, when she looked down the street and noticed what looked like a grey cat with its paws up in the air laying on its back, with its tongue out of its mouth. Heidi? Heidi, is that you? Heidi went, Yeah. Couldn't move still. Still in shock. Still. Still so relieved that she wasn't in another country on the top of a mountain that was just made for garbage or recycling. Or maybe, even worse, she'd have gone through a recycle machine and come out like a t-shirt or something. She was so upset. When Cherry and Vea had run down the street and got to her, she was just staring up at the sky, taking in the big blue sky and the white clouds. I'm so glad I'm still alive, said Heidi. What are you doing here? Have you been laid in this street all this time? Out on earth did everyone just want not see you? Did you do like an invisible cloak or something? <gasps> did you do like that mind game where you say, I am invisible, I am invisible, and then somehow people just don't see you? I've heard about that. It's supposed to be really magical. Vaya said, be quiet, let Heidi talk. Where were you, Heidi? Heidi said, In the garbage truck. Oh, gosh, it was awful. You were in the garbage truck? OMG! You could have been splattered! Vea nudged Cherry really quickly. I don't think that's a good thing to say, said Vea. She looks frightened to death. Heidi said, I know I could have been splattered. I could have been made into a t-shirt. Or like a plant pot or something. Vaya started laughing. Cherry started laughing. Oh, I could just see you as a plant pot. You'd have been so cute. <laughs> no, not really. Oh, and Jay, what were you doing hiding in the garbage bin, you crazy cat? Heidi said, I hid in the recycle bin. I thought I'd be safe. I thought... It's probably not that bad in there. And actually, it was quite interesting for a while. I was trying to figure out where all the different things in the recycling bin go. And then I fell asleep and it was so comfortable. I found the perfect box, Cherry said. Oh, I do love a good box. <laughs> Vaya said, yeah, me too. And then, Heidi said, and then I heard this clanking and this sound. And then all of a sudden it went dark and I was falling through the depths of, of gosh knows what. And then I thought, oh no, I'm definitely gone. I'm a goner. And then the light came on and I saw my escape route and I was out of there as fast as a shot, as fast as anything. Cherry said, oh, I'm Jay. Hi, Dave. That could have been so bad. I'm so glad you're alive. Cherry jumped on Heidi and gave her a big hug. And then so did Vaya. OMG! I'm in shock! Heidi said, You're in shock? I'm the one that was almost squished, splattered into a plant pot. I need a shower. I need to wash off this day. 
the cats went inside and Heidi had a very long, warm, relaxing shower. It helped her a lot. She washed off the bits of paper and sellotape and different things that were stuck in her fur. She put on her comfortable pyjamas and hopped into bed with her bestest, bestest sisters. She put one paw around Cherry and one paw around Vea and said, don't ever let me hide in a garbage bin again. All three cats started laughing and snuggled in close together. Wow, what a day, said Heidi. Makes you really appreciate things when you almost a plant pot. Again, everyone started laughing. And then the cats turned off the light, snuggled down, and fell fast asleep. Safe on their big, soft, comfortable cat bed. The end. <laughs>